Hey guys, Darth Fang here, and you're watching the first part of the making of cake, please. Okay, on this tutorial, we will cover up how to light up the scene using Corona lights and Corona sky. So let's get started. Okay, so I just opened up the Max file, and as you can see, the interior is pretty simple with uh, with just three windows and some low poly models here. And these are the low poly props that I modeled just in Max to add more details to the scene, which later I will explain to you how to use it using um, Advanced Painter. This one. Okay, so but for now, let's set up the lighting first. Okay, so let's open up the Environment tab. And we'll use Corona Sky. Oh, for a moment. Uh, let's open up the render setup first. So F10. And as you can see, I'm just using just the default settings of Corona, the patch tracing and UHD cache. So let's go to Start Interactive. So now we don't have any lights yet in our interior. Okay, let's just stop that one. And then let's unhide all to reveal the ceiling. And then let's go to our environment tab. Okay, so we'll choose uh, Corona Sky. And then let's start the interactive again. Okay, so there's a light thing getting into our interior but this lighting I mean the corona sky I want it not to be that strong because I want to control the light coming in with corona lights instead of the sky so let's go to our material edit editor and let's just put it here as an instance and now we'll use the raw fake and then usually I use I set it up to 0.5 okay and we'll start using up some corona lights I think I put in the hidden layer, so sorry for that. Okay. So usually the default of the Corona light is white and direct input and around 10 so that's the default or I think 1 oh sorry yeah 1 and then what I did was um, I put the intensity to um, 250 And then tone the color a uh, direct input into a bluish gray. Um, so 
something like that or maybe darker okay and then I added I added some other lights here just to reduce the noise in the interior but it will be lesser like around um, 30 and put it to a light gray also added one here Okay, let's just move these guys here. Okay, so for the light setup, um, I just unchecked the direct visibility visibility and uh, occlude other lights so I didn't use any corona sun here just the environment and the corona light plane and let's reveal the ZBrush model Oh, let's hide that. Um, where's the one? Low poly model. Okay. And then let's unhide the ZBrush model. So in the part two, I will explain how to export from 3ds Max the low poly cake to ZBrush to re-sculpt re re the the details in it. And oh sorry for for the color map. Uh, usually the default is um, just zero and one, right? I usually set set my white balance to six thousand five hundred most of the time, but depends. And then the highlight to fifty, and then. The exposure, I'll just leave it zero and also the contrast so that I'll get the raw image without any contrast or curves. But if you want to see how it looks almost like in Photoshop, then you just click this one. Oh, sorry about Okay, so yeah, so for the contrast and exposure, I usually just use it when I want to view the, um, how it looks in Photoshop. But normally I turn it back down to zero, and this one also zero, and save all the elements. For Photoshop, okay, so let's uncheck the override material. So let's see how it looks with all the materials on the scene. Let's just stop this one first and then uncheck it here. So actually the light thing is pretty simple the the trick here is just to tone down the lights and make it into a dark blue color or a grayish blue color so that you'll have that soft studio light coming in to the window so 
as you can see it's pretty raw here and then if you add the contrast with maybe 8 it's almost like in the post production maybe some 3 5 yeah so I think that's how I pretty much um, set up the lighting and later we'll explain to you how I post process it in Photoshop I think that's in part 3 okay so I think that's the end of the part 1 and we will move on to part 2 which is sculpting the cake and ZBrush thank you for watching